How's everybody doing? Uh, I, I was getting this really weird thing, and it just dawned on me. I was having trouble the one day. I could not, couldn't get the game to work. And, you know, it kept telling me that you know, I needed, it was, it was like, it was like login issues and other stuff. I couldn't get, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that was not working with Minecraft. And just at a certain point, I said, fuck it. And I, I uninstalled it, and then I reinstalled it, and everything's been working great ever since. Uh, oh, I know what it was. There was, and this didn't really fix it, but uh, it kept uh, it kept kicking me out. And there was there was a thing that I had read where it said to basically do a hard reset where you hold the power button, and I vaguely remember it. Uh, didn't remember it at first until I started talking about it, but. Um, it basically said to do a hard reset where you hold the power button in. And I can't remember if you were supposed to do that before or after you uninstalled the game. I, I did it the way it, it said. And then I reinstalled it. And it has been working better. But I was still getting this thing where it would kick out. And it hasn't done it in a while. But it, it, did, it, like, it did it like the day after. The, you know, Because I basically did that and then went to bed. And uh, it was ready to play the next day. But from what I remember, it still did it after. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but it still did it after. But it's been good for a couple days now, so I have no idea what the fuck was going on. I really don't. Uh, okay. I got I gotta go as soon as the kitchen timer goes off I gotta go and I'm really I might I might shut the game off when I'm gone because I just don't want to lose a whole bunch of shit if uh, I'm not here to go to go to sleep at night when it gets dark so I might do that but uh well, anyways I was just noticing all this weird shit and it just dawned on me today and it's been like a couple weeks I think. But it just done because I figured, you know, at first I figured, well, maybe it fucked up during an up update or something like that. But this thing has not crashed on me in a while, so there, that that's cool. But uh, I think it did do it after I did the re. Either that or maybe that's maybe I reinstalled it and it did it, and then I looked it up and it basically told you about the hard reset. But anyway, it's it doesn't appear because I I don't remember it doing it for the last couple days. And there's been a couple of those days where, you know, e even if I wasn't all that busy, it was it was on. Like, I'd have it on, and I'd just be sitting here vegging out. They got to get this fucking glitch fixed. I'm not kidding you. Mojang, you know, if, if anybody tells you about it, you need to fix this shit. This, this is fucking ridiculous that I can't mass murder golems. It's just, it's wrong. You know, it's against my right as a Minecraft player. I should be able to dunk as many of these fucking uh, iron golems as I want for iron. Okay, come on, bastard. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on. Time for you to die, Mr. Bond. I am Antigio Van... Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Antigio Van Voyant. You killed my father. Prepared to die. Well, I got the... Uh, at least I think I do. I think I got a... Uh, I think I got a mending thing for the one trident. And I think I even have uh, impaling four or five on it. So... Uh, as soon as I'm having a good enough day, I can go over there and try to finish the uh, finish the iron farm, and then I shouldn't have to deal with this anymore. The other thing I did now, I uh, I'm getting some. I it seems like it should be more, but I'm at least getting some, and I'm pretty much just ignoring it because uh, I I emptied it completely out. There were none in there. But what I did was, and this is actually sometimes good for your farms. If if you need a uh, if you need a timing thing, uh, what you do is you just basically put that on top of an observer, 
And then what happens is every time the light, you know, you, know, you can just use it on or off with this, and that might be my next step. But uh, you put it on the observer, and then what happens is, and I think I did this once before, and it didn't work, and i got to go because the timer just went off. But if I don't come back in 5 or 10 minutes, just bail on it, because then that means I either forgot about the stream or I um, am, I'm un am, am unable to come back. But what happens, every time the light fluctuates as the day passes, you get like 7 or 8 pops of this. As, as the sun changes it'll fire your circuit and so for like uh for like a um sugarcane farm or something like that it actually works pretty good for that it does not work that well for this because this stuff every time those pistons fire i think it resets the clock and if it's firing when there's nothing there uh i'm gonna let it go for a little bit but i might have to i might just do it where it's uh but with me not really going in the night that much, I might just put it on a uh, hopper clock. I might do that. And then the other thing is I'm seriously thinking about putting in a hopper clock for the drown farm so that I can just stand there and it'll work. The only problem is even doing it manually, I've had, a, I've had it where it's a little wobbly when I go in there. I just don't want to go in there and have the game crash because I got, I got too many mobs in the fucking uh, nether. Hang on, I'll be back as quick as I can. If I'm not back in five, ten minutes, just bail. Uh, j just bail. I don't have the ability to edit anything, so you could see it on YouTube and so on. I'll be back as quick as I can, if at all possible. It's getting dark just in the nick of time. Yeah, I got to be careful because uh, I've done this before when I'm not on stream. <laughs> and, and everything, it's getting to where I'm not really seeing too much. But I had it early on where I didn't get killed. But, like, one that's why they got the fences on them now. But one of these guys had turned into a fucking zombie villager. And I'm like, well, one of them fucking got up here. And I think the, the Iron Gals eventually fucking killed it. But it managed to get up here, 
and I've also had it down here had it down here where like I end up with a creeper and uh, and I, I've had them up I'm getting this stuff lit up slowly and I don't know I really don't know but I'm gonna start moving I just don't know when um, I started like if you if you look there I've started replacing the torches with the uh, pumpkins and uh, pumpkin lanterns and the leaf blocks and uh, I want it fully lit up, and I'm eventually going to start putting uh, villagers over there and uh, on those ledges. And because uh, it this shit's pissing me off, and this I'm going to call this another glitch, and I think it's an old glitch. It's like a zombie glitch that has come back. But all of these guys should be tied to these fucking blocks. Every fucking one of them should be tied to these fucking blocks. And over here with some of the new villagers, I'm getting villagers that are tied to uh, toolsmiths. So some of these lazy, worthless motherfuckers have broken their ties to this. They are no longer tied to these. Yeah, like those guys. They're, they're, they should. Each one of these guys should be tied to these blocks. Like he's looking at it. And they, they just they just flared like they're not, but they, these guys should be tied to these blocks. And it looks like all of these are. You know, they're all, except for this guy, but he was looking at it. But all of these guys, now this guy isn't, this guy isn't. But there's at least two of them that are broken that connection because I got like a villager here that's a tool. And I'm getting it with the, uh, I'm getting it with the uh, librarians too. Yeah, I got another one. I got two more. I got three of them that are broken. And, uh, you know, and this guy, this guy can't break. There, there's one of these guys that is, I think, a, well, he might actually be one of these dipshits, too. But one of these guys originally, and this, this is another fucking glitch. Look at this shit. They should be separated. Then they got mashed. I think there's three of them in there. They got mashed together. And, uh, yeah, I think there's three of them in there, at least. And one of them, I think, tied to the potion, but they, oh, they can't fucking grab. None of them can grab these ones right in front of them. They got to grab one, you know, a fucking half a mile away that's attached to another fucking, no, okay, the potion one is not attached to anybody. But these jackasses, they're, I haven't traded, haven't traded with him, haven't traded with him, haven't traded. These, these dipshits, by this time, should have actually locked on to these so I'm gonna move these guys far away and the other thing and I have no idea but th this is a glitch they had shortly after they brought the villagers out they gotta I I'm sorry but they, they really need to quit breaking shit and having these zombie you know once something's fixed hopefully it would be fixed for a while but these guys here for some reason and th these guys are doing it too uh, for some reason because I think I got one guy maybe they're fixed now yeah, this guy here, he can't, he, he's right here. He's, he should be trained to this one. He can't replenish his supply, so we're going to call this a glitch. We are absolutely going to call this a glitch. This guy's fucked up. Um, but some of this, and I ran into this over there, and he ended up getting taken out, I think, by a zombie or something. But uh, uh, And that, that was my fault, but I, I was only fucking with it because of these glitches. But uh, for some reason, standing right here, these fucking morons cannot grab this workstation. They just can't. The game's fucking broken. Where And I don't know if it'll matter, but when I put them in, I'm going to actually have the, uh, the track going this way. And so hopefully they'll be facing into it. And I don't know. I, I just don't know, but it's like this really takes a lot of the fun away when they keep breaking shit. When these when these uh, when these glitches keep coming up time after time after time. Now, like these guys here, they they don't appear to be broken, and that's because. But I had one over here where, and luckily he's dead now. But I, I had like two or th I think two really reasonably good things. And when I had it going this way, he kept breaking, and I kept getting... He was the one breaking, and uh, then I turned it, and he still didn't want to lock onto the workstation that was right here. 
So I don't know. It it just really it really takes the fun out of me when they keep fucking up the same shit over and over and over again. Uh, I I I don't see how that happens unless somebody is constantly putting old code in, like they. Like, one person works on it, and they've got a whole bunch of old code with the same fucking glitches in it, and then when they fix that one thing that they're doing, they upload all that bad code into the mix. I, I don't understand. I literally don't understand. But somehow they end up with the same fucking defects getting put back in the game over and over and over again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna dump a, we're gonna dunk a couple more of these guys. Okay, now I don't really have any good subjects. Uh, there hasn't been anything new. Well, maybe hang on a sec. Playing from Casey's tab A8. Okay, this one here I'm not even going to bother watching. But they, they got this guy. And I honest to God, I don't know anything about him. I'm not even going to give you his name. But it's... Uh, I think I've watched him on this. This this must be like a you know favorite fanboy bringing him back and back and back. But it's a UFO guy, UAP guy. And uh, he makes bold claims. And... I don't know if he's for real. I, I literally do not know if he's for real, but the, the tag on this is the Pentagon, the cover-up, and UAPs, the real truth, and why they're here now. And this is the funny thing. This guy here, I talked about him a little bit ago in an older podcast. Uh, this is a guy that, you know, he's been, you know, he's selling an app where you're supposed to be able to summon, you know, aliens and... I don't know. I don't know if it's him they're talking about. Some people are saying that, you know, basically he has these events. You sign. It's like Trump. You sign these non-disclosure events so you can't, like, with that Trump University when that was there, it kind of came out that you had to sign these waivers or these non-disclosure agreements. You had to sign, like, even before you took the course, you had to sign these things saying, oh, I loved it. I learned so much from Trump. And then once you've paid your money and you signed away your rights to complain about it, you find out you've been ripped off. That's why they that's why they were sued. He had to pay, I think, like $25 million. They shut the place down. Sounds like he's trying to open another one. Uh, sounds like he's trying to open another university, uh, maybe in Florida somewhere. And... Uh, but this guy here, he was selling all this action. It's real UFOs and blah, 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 and this and that. And then... At a certain point, after Chuck Schumer gave his amendment, where they were going to seize, they were going to seize all of this, uh, you know, stuff that they got from UFOs, all the stuff that did not come from hum human. Well, then he did a podcast, and this is a guy that's been selling this app for like years. You pay him so much a month, you know, he has a retreat. You pay hundreds or thousands of dollars, and you can go fucking call the ufos and wave your wiener at him and all this other shit whatever the fuck's going on there well then he comes out after schumer's amendment's going to basically imminent domainly seize all of this ufo stuff then he did a podcast like, well yeah everything you see it's all man-made so I, I i firmly i don't know it it's my opinion but i firmly believe this guy is a tool of uh he's a fucking tool of uh the military industrial complex. His dad was connected to uh, like Northern government or something like that. I don't know if he owned it, ran it, or was just a high level guy, but his dad, dad or uncle or somebody was connected to it. I don't, I don't trust this guy at all. I got to go hang on. Be right back.
I should have just waited. I I thought this was gonna. I'm doing burgers and they're they're gonna be done pretty quick. At least I get a short stream done today. Holy shit. Yoga. Yeah. So he's got that. Uh, there really wasn't that much on that I thought was really interesting. And uh, this one here. Now this one here, I might watch. I don't know if it's going to be anything. It's going to be you know good enough to report or fill a podcast. But it's uh, Christian Harloff, and. I don't know this guy, but it, it looks interesting. And maybe I've watched him before. The name is not doing it, but are we closer to the truth is uh, the thing in the, the thumbnail. Massive Pentagon UFO chief seen Kilpatrick steps down. And then something about David Grush shares something or other. And uh, so that one might be good, but I don't know if it's what I've already heard, that there's an announcement or if he's actually stepped down and they've got him replaced. Because the, the thing I had heard was uh, they had already started interviewing people, but I don't I don't know, and that's just the thumbnail. And then uh, this one here, I've watched some of his before, and I think they're pretty good. I just haven't had time to watch them. Uh, Julian Dory, Biblical Physicist Confronts Aliens versus God, Hugh Ross is the guest. And then the thing in the thumbnail is Ancient Biblical UFOs. And this was... So, okay, now this I can add in. This I didn't remember this until just right now. Um, there... There was something, and it was an episode of Ancient Aliens. And I think it's one... If you can find the season with the... Uh, with the Immortal... I think it's like season 15. 14, 15, or 16, I think. Uh, it's the one with the Immortal... Uh! Yeah, I told you, I absolutely told you this has happened before. I got a bow and arrow now. Powered by fishing. I should be doing a uh, tomorrow. I don't know if tomorrow's Friday or Saturday. I think tomorrow's Friday, but I'll be doing another fishing stream, at least one this weekend. Uh, I might keep them up. That to me, they're they're kind of fun. You know, they're I'm not I'm not planning on doing anything big, uh, but you know, it, it's just something to do on the weekend. I can kind of relax. I can just kind of bullshit about whatever. And uh, yeah, I've run into those guys. Now things are getting lit up, so it's not as bad. But I've run into them while I'm cutting down trees. Uh, I told you where I found them elsewhere, but I found them down here. But I'm getting more and more lit up, so it shouldn't be as much. And uh, down the road, I'm going to turn this into like a hovel or something. I will move the, uh, the chest with the... Uh, what the fuck? I will move the chest with the uh, armor in it. Over here, probably, and this will because I, I keep having these iron golems that come and they just pace back and forth. So I, I'll do something to keep them out of here. I don't think I'll put any villagers in it, and uh, but that's that's like a that's not an immediate one. And then, uh, but yeah, the uh, but they were saying in that uh, episode, and I can't remember what the subject was. But they were talking that something, it might be the version of Noah that's in uh, the Gilgamesh stories, the Sumerian tablets, because they brought that up too. The first time I remember hearing about that was uh, they were, uh, the, I think it was that Julian Dory, he was interviewing a guy that's on Gaia TV. And he mentioned that, that that's like his favorite part of Gilgamesh is where... Um, where they're talking about Noah. That's the first time I remember here. I'm not saying it's the first time I heard it, but it's the first time I remember hearing it. And, uh... 
And uh, they were talking somewhere in there, and I don't know if it was the Sumerian text or if it was something Jewish, but they basically talked about, um, and th that's why the ancient biblical UFOs made me think of it, uh, Oh, man, I finally got, for a while there, I would send golem after golem in there, and I would just come in here and just be swarmed with uh, uh, the drowned and the zombies in there. Now I finally got, so I can, I can basically spend a little bit of time today just flooding it with drowned uh, again. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll actually build that machine, and I'll just turn it on and off. But I'm thinking about putting in a uh, hopper timer so it will just periodically fire up and send the drown through or the zombies, whatever's in that little capture point. But before I do that, i got to increase the uh, storage of it. So uh, I've got plenty of room. Otherwise, I'm going to fill up with... Uh, I'm going to fill up with the... Uh, that's a long-term thing. I, that ain't going to get done, I don't think, anytime soon. But I think I do have what I need to do it. I just That's another thing. I, I need a good day to do it. I can't do it. I don't think I can really do it on a day, a day like today or I'll fuck it up. I found uh, when I was putting in those pumpkin lanterns over there for I'm going to put the uh, the librarians, I had the candles all fucked up. I was I was a whole bunch of them that I was like one off. I started, cause I started, started putting them in and I got over. I go, man, why is this off? And then I, I traced it down. took a while, but I traced it down and I just must have been having a bad day and I got the... Uh, I got the, the torches all wrong. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, but fuck. But, uh, well, anyways, they somewhere in there, and it was I'm pretty sure it was on that episode of Ancient Aliens. So, again, I told you what season it was, and it's, give or take, it's around, if you can find that episode of The Immortality Machine, uh, it's, it's like a couple episodes before or after that. And uh, they were talking about the Ark was not a ship. It was a pyramid-shaped craft. And... And I, th I think that would have been in the Sumerian one, and then when the, you know, the, the story got adopted by the Jewish faith and the Christian faith, uh, they changed the story to, you know, the, the cubits, and God told them how to build it. And what, but that, that's what they were saying, that it was a... And then they said that there was some artwork... There was somebody that did some artwork for, I think, the Vatican, and he put the pyramid-shaped craft into his artwork. And they were wondering, and that was the speculation, well, did he get secret knowledge from the Vatican, stuff they knew that we were not allowed, and that's why he did that. And uh, so I found that kind of interesting. Uh Okay, this one here, I don't know if I'm going to watch it. Uh, I, I will say this. It's The Theory of Everything with Kurt Kurt J. I, I am not even going to try. I got too much respect for that guy to butcher, to butcher his name, and I'm just not going to be able to. So, Kurt J, Theories of Everything should bring him up on YouTube. And uh, he's got a man with 200 IQ gives theory on reality. So I don't know if that's going to be any good. Uh, yeah, it's just slim pickings today. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream because I'm gonna be gone for a little bit. The food should be done or it'll be close. I'm just gonna stay there and eat. I might start another one up if I can find a good topic. I'll start up. Otherwise, we'll just everybody have a good day. 
Write your legislators, ask for legalized assisted suicide. You know, they're, they're, and it, this is a thing that might help out more than just me. I, and I'm not trying to be greedy. I think we deserve it. Let, you know, let's, let's get some better options for people that are sick like me and can't work or uh, better options for people that are dying than hospice. Hospice, I can tell you in my experience, hospice is doing everything they can. Just doesn't seem like it's enough. Write your legislators and tell them to pass the two amendments on uh, UFO disclosure. Let's get to the bottom of that money that's being stolen from us. Peace out, and I hope everybody has a good day.